election in the United States. Um, there's always a dilemma about, do you want to do this in privacy so you can have your partisan sort of moment to yourself, or do you want to do it in fellowship um, because that's what democracy is about. So it's wonderful to see Americans and Ghanaians and other friends from other countries um, together from civilian life and military life, young and old, together witnessing a very important democratic moment for the United States. and. Um, there were a lot of similarities, or there are a lot of similarities between, and I have to be careful about drawing that now, but between the American election and the Ghanaian election with a former president running against a sitting vice president. Again, historical. Um, but there are also many differences. The, the United States, we're all focused on the top of the ticket. But in fact, what you see in the United States isn't one election run by a national election commission. It's many, many um, different elections. Um, the presidential, of course, important, but a third of our senators are elected. Our entire lower house or our entire House of Representatives in Virginia, where I voted, the school board members were on the ballot and um, constitutional provisions and bonds and that kind of stuff. So um, there will be more um, to watch, um, even though we've had um, a big finale. And um, I think because of the proximity of American and Ghanaian elections, it's important to acknowledge that elections are messy. Um, they're, they're messy because they're participatory, because we're airing grievance and we're airing issues and the way that we feel differently about them. But I was at the National Peace Council um, meeting of stakeholders yesterday with the Danish ambassador and the, the UN country representative. And um, the head of the National Peace Council stood up and said, remember that this isn't a battle between enemies. It's, it's a contest between fellow Ghanaians or fellow Americans um, about the issues and about the, the future of the country and how we want it to go. And once elections end, um, we have to be attentive to that. Um, and it, it's, hard to, it's hard to put aside that kind of partisanship that so motivates us before an election, but it is incredibly important and precious, I think. I don't mean to be preachy, but um, it's, it's, an, it's something I'm very proud of as an American, is our ability to do that. Um, and I think we, we need to remember that today. We need to remember that every vote counts. Um, that the young people who voted for the first time are learning like incredibly important elections about democracy, as they will in Ghana. And um, we all learn, I think, through experiences like this, how fragile democracy can be, how fragile democratic institutions can be, and how they must be protected and fought for, you know, really with our lives, um, because they are what makes us American um, or Ghanaian. Um, it's what makes America and Ghana peaceful and stable and prosperous, um, is that democracy and our ability to then hold hands as citizens and move forward um, together. Um, so I will just thank you very much again um, for being here together um, with us and onward. So um, I will make a toast because then diplomats can't help but make a toast. Um, please raise your glass. Um, here, here is to democracy and the practice of democracy and peace and stability and prosperity in Ghana and America. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.